We were in the middle of the desert in absolutely nowhere and our tire popped. Spare ended up getting a flat, our, our uh, brakes went out and we had no reception, um, no way to call out. So this was December of 2017 and I get a phone call from my dad and he says, Hey Holly, would you like to go with me out in the desert today? And I've got a friend that wants to show us where some brachiopods are. And he wanted to go that day because the next day was supposed to be a snowstorm. I told my dad, you know what, Dad, I'd love to go, but I can't. I've got way too much to do. Hang up the phone, think about it for a few minutes. I'm like, hey, it's your dad. You can make a way. So I call him back and say, hey, Dad, I want to come. Wait for me. I'll be there shortly. So I grab an avocado, a jug of water, my backpack and a coat, and head over to my dad's. I get there, I hop in his vehicle and um, his friend and my niece hop in too. We head out to the desert and up over the mountain um, and further west. And it didn't take me long to realize that we were not going to the location that I had told my family we were gonna go. I had uh, pinned it on Google Earth and I told them where I thought we were going. And anyway, this was not anywhere near the location. And I thought, well, that's gonna be all right. Um, it's, it's fine, no big deal. And so we continue driving and we hear the sound, get out, look, and we have a flat tire. So we go to change the tire and the, the nuts are stuck tight. The lug wrench, I had to jump up and down on it a lot to get the nuts off. Got the tire changed got out to where the brachiopods were and it was a really cool spot. The sun was shining. It was a gorgeous day. We had a lot of fun. And before we knew it, the sun had gotten low in the sky and we decided it was time to head home. So we get in the vehicle, get on the road. And anyway, these are all dirt roads. We drive a while and we hear this sound and like, no, it can't be. Get out of the vehicle, look. Sure enough, we have a, another flat tire. It was the spare that we'd put on and it had a flat and we realized we didn't have any other tires to put on and so we thought well we'll just call somebody well we were in the middle of nowhere no reception our our cell phones did not work thought hey we can call 911 i didn't work hungry teenager uh, no food and it was getting cold and dark and snowstorm on the way my dad's friend he decided the best thing to do would be to continue driving slowly until we could make it to a place where his wife would know where to look. And anyway, that was still a long ways off. But we continued on and my dad thought, you know, if we can at least make it to a crossroads. And mile after mile, you hear the thump, 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 thump. We were going very slow. Uh, my dad got tired and he had me drive. So I'm driving along, the thump, thump, thump eventually isn't a thump, thump, thump anymore. And um, there's this different sound and I keep driving and driving and then we get up um, on, the, on the mountain and um, we realize that we can't go any further. The vehicle's acting kind of froze up, but we get out and, um, and we've driven clear down to the the metal part and the the rim had worn almost all the way off so we changed the what was remaining of the rim and we ended up uh, putting the the original flat tire back on and I drove further um, up the mountain in the dark with no brakes for quite a ways and then the vehicle did this lurching thing and got out to see what was going on and um, we got where it wasn't as steep and checked and the wheel had kind of wrapped itself up around the, I want to say the steering line, but the underside of the vehicle. And we had to cut that off. Um, my dad's friend had a pocket knife, thank goodness. I didn't bring a pocket knife or anything like that. And anyway, we were able to cut that off and free up the vehicle and continue on further. And during all this time, as we're going up the mountain, we kept trying the, um, our, our cell service. And finally, we were able to call out, um, got a hold of my, my brother-in-law and my brother, 
and let them know where we were and they were going to come and help us. We thought we could um, meet at a better spot where they could find us a little easier. So I continued driving and I realized that there was water on the side of the road. I thought, well, that's really weird because I don't remember there being water on the side of the road when we came through. And I realized I had taken a wrong turn. It was quite steep, pitch black, and I had to turn the vehicle around um, with no brakes. And they were able to, I was able to do that and get back onto the main road. We got back, um, back down and my brother-in-law and my brother were able to find us and um, we got the tire changed and we were able to make it home safely that day. It's amazing how far you can go even when you think you can't. I wouldn't recommend what we did unless you need to. It wasn't that great on the vehicle, but we were able to make it home safely. Um, what an adventure.